Thank you very much, uh, Ronnie, for taking the time uh, to speak to our audience. Uh, well, we see right behind you uh, a dollar sign in red uh, with impact uh, printed on it. Uh, so this is a book you've just released. Uh, it's about the impact revolution. You've been one of the apostles of this revolution. Uh, could you tell us more about uh, what it says? Certainly, Beth, it's a great pleasure to be sharing the platform with you at uh, this blue light and orange uh, meeting. So basically, these are things that you totally agree with, uh, Beth, but basically I feel that uh, the paradigm of our economic system uh, has already started to shift away from optimizing risk and return to optimizing risk, return, and impact. And we live at a time where humanity has a major opportunity to improve lives and our planet. Uh, and the, the book is about that, uh, basically. Thank you very much. So do you think that there is a room for a real change within the financial industry behind the momentum we are seeing today towards ESG, impact, sustainability. What do you see as, as the main challenges and the main opportunities? I, I, I think uh, the financial world is going through a major transformation. Uh, the investment world is, is driving it uh, today. And when I started my career 50 years ago in what was the, the emerging field of the venture capital, uh, certain forces had come together. Uh, the measurement of risk had brought the concept of risk-adjusted return and the concept of diversification. Uh, entrepreneurs uh, had brought the concept that small is beautiful and that small companies can innovate better than big ones. And technology held out to the promise of a very fast advance. And, and so we found portfolios changing, moving away from just stocks and bonds of your country uh, to the multi-asset portfolios that we know so well today. And in that sense, you could say that the change in thinking uh, opened the door to the tech revolution and to globalization since uh, it uh, created the opportunity for new asset classes like venture capital and uh, new themes in investment like investment in emerging markets um, to be represented within portfolio. I feel the same thing is happening today, background, but with three different uh, forces and in some ways different. The first force is a change in values. The values of consumers, the talent, uh, have uh, shifted uh, consumption away from companies that are creating um, harm. Uh, and investors have seen this and have realized that it has deep implications for the profitability of the companies in which they invest. And so today we see 40 to $70 trillion of ESG money going to achieve more than profit, to achieve impact as well. The second major force is new leaps in technology that enable us to deliver impact globally in ways humanity could never contemplate. Uh, I'm thinking of artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning and augmented reality, computing and the genome coming, uh, coming together. And finally, this technology is enabling us to measure the impact that companies create through their operations, through uh, their employment, and through their product on people and the environment. So the 70, 40 to 70 trillion of ESG money that we see today, the new emissions of bonds, sustainable social and green bonds are today a one and a half trillion dollar pool. Uh, the um, companies that are uh, making their way into impact private equity portfolios and impact venture capital portfolios, impact infrastructure funds and impact property funds. 
All of these things are signals that our financial market is now optimizing or beginning to optimize risk return and demand. Well, thank you very much. Maybe to conclude this uh, quick discussion, if I tell you uh, blue like an orange, uh, what do you see? I see that Tom Badre, a uh, hugely successful leader of, uh, of the World Bank, making a foray uh, into the world of, uh, of uh, impact uh, finance and starting with that. Thank you very much, Bonnie, with your support and blessing will go far. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great pleasure. Lovely to see you.